Welcome to all the commentators far and wide all over the world. Of course, it's your boy Mr. Lix and this is indeed a Mr. Lix commentary. Guys, we all know what took place involving the Chris Gale and Mel McLaughlin interview where some people were like it was blown out of proportion while others were like well that was very much disrespectful for him to say such a thing well guys we actually have the video and let's see what took place here so guys this is the interview of mel mclaughlin interviewing chris gill after he scored a 41 out of 15 balls at a bpl cricket match and of course he made some statements where a lot of people were like that was sexist on his part when on his part he thought he was just simply entertaining and making jokes yeah definitely i mean i mean I want to come and have an interview with you as well. That's the reason why I'm here. So, just to see your eyes for the first time. It's nice. So, hopefully, we win this game and we can have a drink after. Don't blush, baby. I'm not, I'm not blushing. Um... So, apparently, Chris must have thought that Mel McLaughlin was one of these regular basic snitches. I mean, girls that he could have easily wooed into his charm that he normally does. But apparently, Mel McLaughlin was not one of those girls. Don't blush, baby. I'm not, I'm not blushing. Um... <laughs> So the issue that everybody seems to be narrowing down on Chris Gale is the free words that he said, don't blush baby. And of course, this is what one of the commentators had to say. Playing shots on and off the field. Well, Chris it's Gale. extraordinary Chris Gale. It must be pointed out that Mel is a wonderful, professional, informed sports broadcaster and a valued member of Network 10. And on reflection, I don't think that's appropriate for what is required in that format. And, you know, Chris is an entertainer and he's a joker, but... I think he probably went a bit too far there. But guys, let's no make notice. This was not the first time that this has ever happened to Mel by a West Indies cricketer. Dwayne Bravo also made an advancement to her, but he did it in a more slightly better way, I should say. Before we let you go, I think you've got a special message from one of our commentators. Yeah, I just want to say hello to Mel. Beautiful Mel, I'm I was lucky enough to meet her once in Sydney. I just want to say hi. And I see she's still looking beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thank you. Slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> For you. What is wrong with these guys and being uncomfortable, man? She's obviously blushing to that. I would guess in terms of how you approach somebody, it doesn't matter where or when, it's just how you approach them. But people try to make it a black and white issue and also compare him to what Broadway Joe did back in 2003. Says the watch, uh, Chad play uh, impresses me, the same thing impresses them. What does it mean to you now when the team is struggling? I want to kiss you. I couldn't care less about the team struggling. <laughs> well, apparently, guys, Broadway Joe also got some flack from the media. But the interesting thing about this, as I did a research, he was never really charged. However, they are charging Chris Gale for saying stuff that has nothing to do with that kind of stuff, which is rather interesting. However, if you have to make a comparison, you can compare it to this lady who also made advancements on one of the reporters. Check this out. You have so much like good self-esteem when you speak. It's really nice. <laughs> nice. You too. Yeah. What was the question? I was just admiring your form. She wanted to, you know, do the hokey pokey or the hanky panky in the sanky. I don't know. But this can be compared to Chris Gale as the same way that he did. Apparently she was never charged for that as well after the incident there was also someone who came up and said that chris did do that to her as well in terms of he exposed his genitals so apparently this woman thought that going into the men's locker room to get some sandwiches freaking sandwiches thinking that none of the players would be there would be something that she could have done funny thing about all this is she did not go saying oops oh whatever she stayed there and chris and some other player was there and she said that chris exposed his genitalia to her of course at that time she said nothing but now the situation comes up she said she did this to support mel mclaughlin who doesn't really care about that stuff anyway she said she was disappointed in how he responded but people are taking this thing a whole other level that it should not have been and even to the point where Chris Gale is now fighting that same girl who made this accusation against him. Doesn't this sound kind of familiar to you? Doesn't it sound like Bill Cosby's situation with all his accusations that took place back in the day and nobody said nothing, but when something happened in the present time, everybody seems to be coming out of the woodworks. Chris denied these allegations, of course, and he said that he's also pursuing legal action against the person. However, Cricket Australia could probe the incident and if Chris Gale is found guilty, then Gail could be expelled and banned from the current and future Big Bash League editions. Wow. Guys, we should try to be careful to avoid all these things, man. I mean, there's a time and place for everything. I personally think he should have waited afterwards to go talk to her off camera 
and 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 you know if he was actually you know serious but then again he said he was making a joke so what do you guys think about the whole incident happening there do you think that chris should be charged what do you think about the whole incident there leave it in the comments below i really would like to hear what the commentators have to say on this anyways guys it's about mr licks on a mr licks commentary thanks so much for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of course subscribe to the channel by clicking the link i think it's over there and of course guys um let me know what you think about the whole video if you like this video please you know share it with your friends and family and of course it's about mr licks on a mr licks commentary i will see you guys in the next commentary video